Okay, here's a little something I found in the trash the other day. I was just walking home and uh, went past one of the bins and I saw this in and I thought, hmm, I'm going to take this and see if I can do anything with it. And uh, here it is. It is a designer series stereo double cassette system from Alba. Just noticed it right there. Thought designer series was the um, brand, but no, it's Alba. And um, I'm not sure why it's been thrown away. It might be because of this um, knob here for the function select knob is missing. Looks like it has a five band graphic equalizer here, but this is only a three band. And there's separate volume controls for left and right. Has a record player, which is very dusty. We'll just um, move the camera up so you can see it. Still has the cartridge and um, stylus in, but I haven't been able to test that yet, and it is absolutely, it's absolutely filthy. Dusty, 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 that's what this thing is. It also has a radio tuner, as you can see there, FM and AM, and two cassette decks. This is inside the um, cassette deck, and you can see that it's uh, got a permanent magnet arrays, which is not always a good sign, because this could be, that means this could be DC bias. And it has a little pressure and um, tension sensing lever there for the uh, auto stop. Anyway, let's um, take a little look inside this and see if everything is okay. Okay, I removed a whole bunch of screws, so we should be able to take the record player off and take a look inside this thing. Alright, seems to be very simple. This is inside it, and um, you can see there's only one tape motor there, drives both the tape decks. You can see when I'm turning this wheel, the other one is also turning. Don't know how good the belts are. Doesn't seem to be much tension there, but... The they may need replacing. There's two main two circuit boards. This is the main one right here, and there's another one behind there. And there's a tiny little transformer. So this thing could really be the size of a boombox if you were, uh, say, put this circuit board behind this one and uh, move a few things around. At the back there is the um, speaker jacks and the uh, antenna. There's no auxiliary inputs. This is the turntable which I just cleaned up. It's very basic, very basic unit. Pick it up, there's practically nothing to it. It's just any lighter or not, it's just going to float away. It is a belt drive system and it does have a ceramic cartridge. Underneath you can see all the workings. It's very simple, it's just a simple two speed motor, and uh, there's where the power and the um, output connects. There's a little switch here to stop it from turning when the arm is in the uh, rest position. Absolutely no auto stop on this thing. Or should I say auto return? I can move this all the way across and in fact... I turn it completely, almost completely around. Bet many of you have never seen a record player that, do, that does that. I have the record player out of the thing and um, just about to give it a test. Got it hooked up to my amplifier and an external 12 volt power supply. It's connected to the line in because with most ceramic cartridges you can do that. The record I've put on is one that's pretty scratched and that so I don't mind if it gets damaged at all. Let's see if it plays. I've got this hooked into the back of the um, Akai reel to reel now. It seems much better at picking up from this record player. It's recording way too loud. I'm pretty sure I can show this on YouTube because this is not the original song. This is a redo of it. In fact, this record player, in fact, this record pretty much um, matches this reel to reel because they're both from 1972. Now we need to get inside and see if we can do anything about this missing selector switch. I have removed the screws from the circuit so we can get inside. It's being held in place by the record play switch. Ah, here we are, there's the problem. Right there. Looks like the um, 
the part that attaches to the switch is actually broken off. This is um, what I'm moving is the um, the FM, I mean the RAID, um, the tuner selector for AM and FM and you can see that that is still all intact. So there's not much I can do about this. I'm going to take one off one of the other switches and use that. Just about to put it back together now. And um, this is a bit of a letdown right here. You know what this is? Well, it is an integrated circuit, but this is the actual amplifier. This puny little, this puny little chip. Here's a um, Zeno diode and a transistor thing, so I know this part here is where the power supply is. Right, let's see if this thing actually even works. I've got it plugged in and turned on. So it shows any signs of life, I'll just put something on the tape. Yes, it does work. You may hear a pop in the speaker every time I activate the tapes, which tells me that the power for this thing is not constantly on. I'll just see if I can find a good tape and see if it even plays. Chaz and Dave. Okay, let's take. Let's test deck B. Okay, that sounds pretty bad. See if deck A has the same problem. No, deck A is pretty silent. Well, I've got a tape in with the door open. That seems to be the only way I can make this work without it making noise. I'm just going to record from the record player and um, Let's see what we get. So I want a phono. I'm not going to have it on loud because it's quite late. Okay, let's play it back and see how it recorded. I'm gonna play it back on my trusty Denon DRS810 and record it onto the computer. So you'll hear directly from the tape when I edit this video. So let's play it and see how it came out. Now this is what was on the tape before. Should come on in a minute. It is on there, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Okay, there seems to be some kind of balance issue there. There's more on the right than, the, than there is on the left. Okay, we're going to fast forward to a silence test I did to see how much background noise there is. Ah, and this is some silence I recorded on it and, um, well, it doesn't sound very silent to me. Yes, that sounds very DC biased to me. Well, that's just about it. Something that says designer series, you'd think it'd be much better, but my video, my thorough examination of this thing, um, proves it's not really all that good. Record player with plastic turntable and ceramic pickup. Very puny amplifier. Radio that uses a wire for the FM antenna. Only a three band equalizer. DC bias tape deck. Now I can see more reasons why they threw this away. But I'm going to keep this for parts, so I guess that's about the best thing as, um, this thing is useful for, and um, that's just about it. Until next time, goodbye.